President Biden signed an executive order this month calling on Congress to examine the risks and benefits of cryptocurrency. That's right. With digital assets becoming an expanding part of the global economy, it's becoming more important to be aware of ways people are being victimized in the marketplace. Some of these victims are falling prey to fraud because they don't know what to look out for. In a new article on CBSNews.com examines this exact subject, the types of scams investors have fallen for. And CBS News tech reporter Dan Patterson is the man behind the article. He joins us now to discuss what he calls new tech but old scams. Right, Dan? Yeah, good to see you. <laughs> good to see you, Dan. So first of all, just for people who have no idea about what we're talking about, <laughs> break it down for us and tell us what are NFTs, the cryptocurrencies, and the scams people should be looking for. Yeah, so this is pretty confusing stuff because there's so much jargon and different types of not just technology, but tech products. So blockchain technology is the underlying tech. Think of this uh, as a tree, right? And from that tree can grow different types of fruit. So one type of fruit is NFT. These are non-fungible tokens. Think of these as like digital baseball cards or sports cards where there is a limited number of them because of blockchain technology. It makes these assets somewhat rare. I, big air quotes with rare because they are <laughs> digital. However, that token means that we can authenticate one asset from another asset. Cryptocurrency, very similar, but these are more tradable, or at least in theory, like Bitcoin, tradable. You can send Bitcoin back and forth pretty easily. So different types of fruit from the same tree, let's the talk, same tech tree. Let's talk about one of these old scams that you highlight, because according to chain analysis, the rug pull scam accounted for 37 percent of the illicit revenue in 2021, which is a 36 percent increase from the previous year. So tell us a little bit about this rug pull scam, how it works and why it's on the rise. Yeah. So we looked at all sorts of different scams. We found three real big scams that are happening in the ecosystem now. Uh, but the rug pull is kind of like it na its name sounds. This is when uh, investors are kind of sold a product. They are told, hey, this crypto token or this NFT is going to be worth a ton. It's really exciting. Maybe there are celebrities involved. So you want to get in early. You want to get in now. And then once you put your money in, the developers disappear with the cash in the product project. That happened late last year with a Squid Game. You remember that popular mm -hmm. Netflix oh, yeah. show? Well, some developers who were not associated with that built an NFT card game based on the show, and they raised a ton of cash. As soon as they raised cash, they disappeared with about $3 million. Incredible. Is that untraceable? Like, can, can these people be found? Well, Unlike the um, kind of we have this this uh, uh, idea that B Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are untraceable. That's not true. In fact, every every transaction is, quote, on the chain, meaning there's a record of it in the ledger. However, if that uh, wallet, that record is not associated with you, it is pretty hard to figure out who specifically made off with that cash. Uh, but we know it's also affecting love and romance, unfortunately. <laughs> There's been a surge in crypto dating scams, also known as pig butchering. Con artists are convincing people to put their money into fake cryptocurrency. And I just want to read you this because recently a woman recently lost $390,000 of her inheritance in a crypto romance scam with a guy she met on Hinge. So with this rise in online dating scams, what should people be looking out for? Well, you know, the reason we looked at this and called it new tech old scams is that really it doesn't have a lot to do with the technology other than the tech has attracted a lot of attention. That means there's a lot of new investors. Maybe we're a little naive. I am. A lot of us are naive to cryptocurrency types of technology. And that means that maybe we're kind of vulnerable to the same old scams that have been around for a long time. So the thing with uh, scams like this is that it's hard to get your cash back. Once you hit send, once you send crypto, it's not coming back to you. Unlike maybe your bank, which could have some fraud alert or fraud detection, banks can often trace to the account holder, uh, specifically who got the cash. And with crypto, look, 
once it's gone, it's gone. So all of this collectively is leading to sort of a cooling in the space, right? People are looking yeah. at all of this fraud and saying, maybe I'll sit this one out for the time being. Yeah, what we found is that last year we saw sales of artwork from Beeple that was in the millions. A lot of people seem to be making cash. But with all these scams, we've also found, uh, according right. to the, the Google Trends and others, that investor and uh, retail investor, that's you and me, our yeah. interest is down. Unbelievable. Yeah. All right, Dan Patterson, thank you so much. Thanks, Dan. Good to see you. Great seeing you in person.